find the, the, the this is smooth find the minimum find the minimum and maximum acceleration of which for which block m1 will be addressed with respect to which m2 10 theta greater than mu if i don't move the wedge so what is the state of the block block will slide down so what max what is minimum and maximum acceleration of the wedge so that the block m1 will be attached with respect to which that the condition given for us <clears throat> okay will uh, in which frame the problem will become very thin by this time you know the inertial non inertial frame so in which frame the problem has to be picked up definitely non inertial frame the problem will become very easy and to understand also so try to work out this problem in the wedge frame for the block describe the motion of the block with respect to wedge frame what is the basic idea what will be the uh, range of acceleration for which the block will be attached with respect to a range is telling minimum and maximum uh, can we remember we discussed yesterday minimum and maximum force acting on the block for which the block will be attached on inclined plane the similar idea is brought it here Okay, go for all the the forces that are acting on system. So m one g sine theta, normal reaction n one, normal reaction here n one. Then I'm describing the motion of the block with respect to wedge. So I'll go for a pseudo force. This will be M1A. Now, what is the direction of friction? This should be acting. Before this, M1G cos theta. <coughs> the friction should act on the block in this direction. On the wedge, it should be in this direction. I think this you have to be careful. Friction will always, force will always occur in pair. The red color, I'm showing that one. Sir, mm, yeah. Here we are calculating minimum acceleration, sir. That's why we have taken friction in friction, that direction. Yeah, yeah, up the incline on the block. So I'll I'll, I'll put it a, a minimum directly. Huh? We'll discuss the case for a minimum. Okay, no. So this is the. So I'll, I'll write the question here. Huh? Some. Let this be the question here. Acceleration A of the wedge and this is smooth. This is rough with tan theta greater than. Okay, this one, I'm just going the first case. There's a diagram here. Okay, let's come for uh, the, the equations. So what all equa possible equations we can write on the block, N1 on the block, on the block N1 will act like this, M1G cos theta, M1G sin theta, and, and the friction should act up the incline on the block. Then, so what happens if, if I don't displace the wedge, if the wedge, if I don't displace it, if I don't accelerate the wedge, then what happens the block as, tan theta greater than mu, the block will slide down. For the block not to slide, what we are doing is, I am giving acceleration to the block, acceleration to the wedge. Because of this, the pseudo force will act towards left and a component of pseudo force along with the friction now can balance M1G sin theta, this is the idea. The component of pseudo force along with the friction can balance the M1G sin theta. 
so that the equations of motion will be on 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 the block you can you can what are the forces n1 uh, the m1 is cos theta friction then this will be m1 g sin theta m1 a sin theta m1 g cos theta and what is the state of block block will be at <coughs> It rests with respect to incline. The person standing on the wedge, what he says, the block is at rest. So we have to just equate the forces. The person standing on the wedge, what, what will be his comment? Block is at rest. I'll, I'll write that comment also so that it will be help you. So what he says? Block is at so write down the forces along the incline, perpendicular to incline. First, perpendicular to incline. N1 minus M1G cos theta minus M1A sin theta equal to zero. The friction should be equal to mu N1. Then along the incline, or so along the incline, <coughs> M1G sin theta minus M1A cos theta minus F equal zero. Substituting this. And this is a minimum, no? A, a minimum will introduce here only. This will be M1A sin theta. A minimum cos theta. mu mu into n1 in place of n1 what i can write it as m1g cos theta plus m1 a minimum sine theta also at equal to zero solving for a minimum will get the required answer so there's the one basic equation i'll slide on so a minimum the minimum is j into sine theta. Wait, 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 wait. Don't repeat, don't repeat. I told you, I told you. If you got answer, if I don't give correct answer, come back. No need to repeat huh? because many students, they're getting troubled. They want to listen only teacher's voice. Please keep in mind. Uh, even if you tell that it's not possible for anyone to understand, let me write it. Huh? If you got answer, just be calm, wait for teacher answer. If you're wrong, then you come into picture. Finish okay, all of you. Class should be absolute silent only when you want to ask some doubt. Doubt. No need to tell answers also. A minimum should be equal to M1G sine theta minus mu cos theta all divided by cos theta plus mu sine theta. This is already some form you have seen. I, I told you it will come at many places. At many places, it will do come like this. Yeah? So this A minimum now, how much it should be equal to? Uh, tan theta minus mu by 1 plus mu tan theta. Sir? <coughs> yeah. Sir, mass will get cancelled, sir. Yeah, M1 will not be there. Okay, fine, yeah. Okay, all of you, just check this. Uh, now, now a few questions like, mm, yeah, M1 I removed it. This should be the acceleration of the wedge so that it should overlap and the block should not slide relative to the wedge here. Go this. So now tell me like, who will provide this acceleration? Action agent, no? So what external force I should apply on the wedge? How to calculate that? I'm just uh, going further into the problem. 
to cover this acceleration to the wedge, no, there should be some external force. Can we calculate the external force that should be applied on the wedge to provide such acceleration? So there, there should be an external force, no, on its own cannot move. Will I agree? Somebody should pull it. So what external force the external agent should exert on the wedge to provide this much of acceleration? So I, I'll, I'll directly take help of this equation. F external is equal to F cos theta minus N1 sine theta is equal to M2 A2. So I'll, 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 uh, let me continue. The external force It's not a part of problem, better to make observation. The external force that must be applied. On the wedge, okay, this I'll call F2 directly. Uh, what should be the F2? So here you're going to take like this. <coughs> I'll, I'll show looking at the diagram, no? So looking at the diagram, just Right equation now. Now only look at the wedge. What are the forces that are acting? Component of friction, F, F cos theta. Component of normal reaction, N1 sine theta. Am I right? This should be. So these things is what? I'll take this one. So what is the equation now? F2. This is F2, I'll call it. Now let me write equation F2 minus F cos theta minus N1 sine theta equal to M2 A2, M2 A minimum. We have value of A minimum. Do we know value of N1? Yes. Do we know value of the friction? Do we have value of friction? Yes, F equal to mu N1. Substituting that all up and we'll get the what force I should apply on the on the wedge. Let me call F that one. Sir. Won't it be F plus F cos theta? Hmm? Yeah. It will be plus F cos theta no sir. Uh-huh. Th this will be plus. I'll give the diagram here. Just some small rough diagram. This is what actually the question. Huh? Instead of asking force now, I just Made you to directly get the acceleration. What what should be the value of force that should be applied so that block M1 will be attached with respect to wedge? Got this? So you tie this later on. Hmm? I'll just leave it here. Only you have to substitute the values of F and N1 and A minimum. You'll get the required value of force. Now similarly, I want A max. I'll, I'll keep on increase this applied force. Then, 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 what, what, what will, what will happen? As I keep on increase applied force, what, what will happen to the condition? No. As I keep on increase this applied force, the action force acting, the pseudo force will increase, and and because of this, as I keep on increase the external force F acting on the wedge, the pseudo force will increase. No. Then, in one specific value. The component of pseudo force is such that it will try to push the block up the incline. So what is the direction of friction? Should be down the incline. Should be the, the friction should be down the incline. Go this at that particular thing, the acceleration of the wedge will be maximum. I'll directly go for the next condition. <coughs> 